When a lot of people first see telekinesis like this, their first response is to say that it's the work of static electricity. Um, there are other excuses too, that maybe it's the heat from your hands or other causes, maybe someone's hiding a magnet or something. And so I wanted to show you this video of what it really looks like if static is involved. And we're going to create some static here so you know that it's very different from how the object behaves when we're doing telekinesis. I'm going to use this piece of plastic. And I'm in Denver, Colorado, so the air is very dry, which really promotes static electricity. And I'm just going to take this piece of plastic and rub it on my hair. I could have used a balloon or some other objects just to create a static charge on it. And I want you to see how it affects the object when it gets close to it. Did you see that fast reaction? And I'm just going to move it like a magnet. It's a very strong bond that we see here. And the plain truth is that telekinesis, at least the way you're learning here, does not offer that strong a bond. It's a much more gentle force that we use in telekinesis. What you're seeing here, this level of control is very strong. And so you'll be able to tell if what you're doing is static or not, because if it looks like this, it's probably not your energy field, but something much more uh, well known and much more mechanical like static electricity. So there you go. If you see some videos out there where the object is moving like this, then you might be able to suspect that that person's using static effect. But here in our work, you'll see that when we do telekinesis, it definitely does not move with this degree of precision um, in this kind of command. Um, you don't want static to be involved when you're doing telekinesis because if, let's say we're using our glass container and it's charged with static electricity and you're trying to move it, the static force that's in play is going to freeze the object and keep you from being successful at the telekinesis. So we want to avoid static as much as possible and not play around with using it like some sort of magical illusion because that's not what this is about.